Village. Hi, this is Cassandra. And I'm Simran. We are at Bishan Stadium for the second leg of the quarterfinals between Home United and Geelong International. Who do you think will score more goals and emerge as victors? Will it be Home United or Geelong International? Stay tuned to find out. It was the second leg of the quarterfinals between Home United and Geelong International for the RHB Singapore Cup that took place on the 29th of July. It was Home United who had taken away their victory in the first leg when they had won with a score of 2-0. Playing in front of the home ground added to their given advantage and it was up to the Eagles to score two or more goals. The Eagles were determined to make a difference. But it was their opponents, however, who scored the first goal in the form of number 8 Ismail Yunus at the 14th minute. It came too late for both the Eagles defender and goalkeeper as Ismail quickly converted number 12 Fidel's Idris header into a quick shot fired into the net at close range. What seemed to be a good start for the protectors turned out to be a rude surprise for the Eagles. Eagles goalkeeper Takuma Ito was quick to dismiss the next few upcoming shots as he leapt and promptly deflected the balls away. Eager as the Eagles were to quickly nail their equaliser, the president of Home United's defence was constantly interrupting their chances to do so. The break finally came for Geelang at the 35th minute when number 11 Stefan Malajevac seized a careless header by the opponent and fired in a shot straight to the goal. It was hardly a celebration though for the team as they had no time to lose. Unfortunately, the retaliation was instant from the protectors as number 12 Fedoris Idrois got the second goal of the night for his team, much to the dismay of the Eagles. Latching on to the glimmer of hope, with aid from his teammates, Fedoris Idrois took a chance and shot the ball straight into the net without giving the goalkeeper a chance to deflect it. The teams kept playing on despite their fatigue with help from their supporters. The first half ended with a score of 2-1 and unsatisfied Eagles. The Eagles tried their very best to push forward and to regain possession of the ball, but the protectors made it difficult to do so. The Home United team was unstoppable as number 11 Jordan Webb threw the opponent's goalkeeper out, only to pass the ball to his teammate Indra Sajan, who easily nudged in the third goal for the team at the 49th minute. It was a show of skill and teamwork as the players worked hard hand in hand to get past the Eagles' defense. Exhaustion coupled with a huge lead for the opponent had the Eagles fumbling with their passes further into the second half. It was difficult to put up with the boundless energy of Home United who kept intercepting their passes. The crowd were on the edge of their seats as the defenders closed in on Eagles' manager Vac from all four corners. With the protectors closing in on him, panicking over the strategic position he was in to score. He knocked the ball away from him and it was only the beginning of their troubles as Joseph Kaplan grabbed the chance kicking the ball straight home into the net, 71 minutes into the game. The rest of the second half saw both teams fighting their very best right up to the last minute of the game. As the whistle sounded, it was Home United who emerged victorious with a scoreline of 3-2. It was a very uphill task, uh, 2 nil down in the first leg. But I think we came here, we had a game plan, we wanted to uh, play the long balls and uh, play behind their defence and to get the goals. We thought first half we can get one, goals, one goal, uh, we are in the game. But uh, they scored an early goal. Uh, I think that was quite an uh, early part of the game. Wow, that gave us an uphill task, three goals to come back. Uh. But I thought my boys did excellent uh, against a very strong team like Home United. So it'll be Home United heading into the semi-finals with an aggregate score of 5-2. Do be sure to catch more Geelong International matches. The next one on Saturday against Albrecht's Nagata. Yep, see you. Bye.